I'm Kurt Nolte with the University of Arizona, and we're here today with Dr. Sonny Lau and Dr. Pat Milner from the U.S. Department of Agriculture in Beltsville, Maryland. They'll be sharing with us updates of their recent work related to the use of chlorine as a sanitizer in leafy green wash water and how it interacts with organic matter. Everyone involved in the fresh produce industry wants to safeguard against microbial contamination and that your food travels from farm to table without incident. While working with specialty crops is very rewarding, the safety involved in washing can be challenging, especially for smaller growers new to the industry. Chlorine solution has been widely used by the fresh cut produce industry. However, it's a strong reaction with organic materials and this rapid decline in concentration has been particularly troublesome to the processors. Dr. Miller will now show and tell our research studies addressing this issue. So the topic of the day is chlorine in wash water and we're here today with Dr. Pat Milner with the U.S. Department of Agriculture. Pat, uh, we're hearing about organic load on organic matter in wash water. What, what is organic load? Organic load refers to the debris that comes off of the lettuce once it gets into the water. So that could be bits of soil, other dust particles that have landed on the lettuce when it's been grown out in the field. It could also be some of the juice that actually comes out of the mm -hmm. lettuce tissue once it's cut and put into that uh, wash machine to make the solid materials. Could be just about anything, including the lettuce itself, because lettuce is organic. I see you, you brought here some, some flasks. Uh, uh, is this an example of that? Yeah, sure. I can tell you about this. This is the clean water that we end up with after we process, let's say, a very small amount of lettuce, a half a pound. We end up with a solution that looks like this after the lettuce is removed. It's a little bit tinted green, but it's starting to get a little bit foggy. That's the turbidity that's starting to develop and that's caused by this organic material that builds up. In this flask, we have the liquid that's left over when we process two pounds of lettuce. So we see that it's getting cloudier and cloudier. And that turbidity, the cloudiness, represents what's happening with the organic load. It's increasing. So the longer we wash lettuce uh, without changing the water, the likelihood of us getting more contamination through organic matter is very high. Absolutely. And, and that must have an interaction with chlorine in the wash water, I would imagine. It certainly does. In this um, part of the demonstration, what we have here is two uh, containers, each containing a liter of water. In this one, we have a solution of 10 parts per million of free chlorine. Mm -hmm. In this one, we have a solution containing 200 parts per million of chlorine. So there's more chlorine in this one than this one. Correct. Gotcha. Correct. And if we put in as little as three milliliters of lettuce juice mm -hmm. into this 10 parts per million free chlorine container, and then we have lettuce leaves in there that have some E. coli on it. Sure. We leave them in there for 30 seconds, and then we take them out and analyze them. We will find out that this amount of of organic load added to that water will have consumed the uh, chlorine in the water and we are left with viable E. coli as mm. shown in this plate. So it's deactivated the sanitizing effect. That's correct. If we start with this higher concentration of free chlorine but we process more lettuce and we add let's say 40 milliliters of total lettuce juice into that we find from a 30 second exposure of those leafy greens, we find we still get some E. coli surviving. So it's important to monitor chlorine in the wash water. Absolutely, this is a very dynamic process, this whole washing um, process with lettuce and trying to keep up with the chlorine levels. So it's really important to measure the chlorine very frequently. Sure. You know, uh, sanitizing fresh produce is a big part of the overall food safety plan to provide the safest and best quality fresh fruits and vegetables uh, and herbs to our customers. We'll keep you posted on the progress of this work as well as others, so stay tuned and take a look at our website.